is Facts and Cosplay, and I'm here today with another tutorial for you. So today, I'm going to go over how to take wefts out of one wig and put them into another wig. I'm going to show you different ways that you can take wefts out of a wig, and different ways that you can put it into a wig. Putting wefts into wigs is very useful if you want to make your wig fuller, if you want to add volume, if you want to add different colors to your wig, whatever your mind can come up with. Alright, so let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how to take wefts out of a netting style wig using a seam ripper. Find the little stitches and cut through them while pulling the weft out. You can usually hurry the process along by tugging roughly to pull out more threads at a time. Just be careful not to pull so hard that you break your wefts in half. Eventually, you can pull out the weft entirely. You can also use an X-Acto blade for this, just be careful not to cut into your wefts or your fingers. Lastly, you can cut out your wefts with a pair of scissors. This works fine, just be careful not to snip your hairs by accident. Next is taking wefts out of clip-on ponytails. These clips are great if you only need a bit of hair. Just cut the elastic to take the netting off the clip and remove the wefts using one of the three methods I just mentioned. If you're using a wig that doesn't have a net lining, you can remove the wefts in a similar fashion. Use a seam ripper, X-Acto blade, or scissors to cut through the threads holding the wefts to the elastic one segment at a time. Now that I've shown you three ways to remove wefts, I'll show you three ways to add them. I'm starting at the bottom and working my way up, which is what I prefer for long wigs. Separate the hair to reveal the space to place your weft, and clip it in place. Once you pin your extra weft in place, thread a needle and put three to six stitches through the weft into the elastic or netting. This way takes a bit longer, but is very strong and ideal if your wig is going to endure a lot of brushing. For method number two, take some craft glue and put a dot on each elastic. Place pins to hold it in place while it dries. Leave it overnight for maximum hold power. Lastly, you can use hot glue. No need to pin every segment, just press it down for a few seconds till it stays on its own. You can dip your fingers in a bowl of cool water while you work if you're worried about burns. With this method, you have to be careful not to get gobs of glue in your wig, and if you aren't careful, you could burn yourself. But it is the fastest way to attach webs, and you can wear it as soon as the glue is cool to the touch. That's it! Thanks for watching guys! Now get out there and start crafting!